Hello. This is a discussion on zeros of polynomials. Polynomials have the general form of ax to the exponent n plus bx to the exponent n minus 1 plus cx to the exponent n minus 2 and so on. You can carry on. This is a polynomial. A simple polynomial is first degree. You can write ax plus b. And next, you can have a second degree polynomial. And the general form is ax squared plus bx plus c. There is another name other than second degree polynomial. We call this a quadratic form or quadratic expression. Suppose we use y to represent this polynomial or you use y to represent this polynomial. Then we write y equals ax plus b or y equals ax square plus bx plus c. This way, you see, I have two variables, y here, x here. y here, x here. So I have x, y. Then I can make a table of values. One column is x, another column is y. Once you have the table of values, you have a pair of x, y values. Each pair of x, y values gives you a point on the x, y plane. So, you have a graph. Now the graph may cross the x-axis. When a graph crosses the x-axis, you create x-intercepts. An x-intercept is a point on the x-axis. Therefore, the y-value of the x-intercept is zero. The y-value is zero. Because the y-value is zero, look here. The right-hand side is zero. But the right-hand side is a polynomial. So, at the x-intercept, the polynomial is zero. So that's what we mean by zeros of polynomial. So we understand that the zeros of polynomial means the x-intercept. How do we find the zeros of the polynomial? That means, how do we find x-intercept? And that means we let a polynomial equal to zero. 
when you write a polynomial equal to zero, it is an equation. So, to find the zero is to solve the equation for the value of x. So, finally, we want to solve for an equation. If the equation is simple, then it's simple. If the equation is quadratic, well, we have no worry. Because a quadratic equation, there are quadratic formulas to find the answer. So we can use the quadratic formula to find the value of x. But sometimes the quadratic expression can be factored. Then you don't need a quadratic formula, just using the factored form to find the, find the zeros. So zero of an, of an polynomial means the x-intercept of the graph. And the way to find it is to solve for the equation. You let, let the polynomial equal to zero, you have an equation and you find the value of x of that equation. So this is the meaning of zeros of polynomials. For up to second degree polynomial, you have quadratic formula to find the x. So it's not so difficult. If the polynomial is degree 3, degree 4, degree 5, and so on, then it's more complicated. However, in certain cases, the polynomial can be factored. Then you can find the zeros. To factor the polynomial, sometimes you use grouping. You group some terms and it may be possible to factor it. Or use the factor theorem. Using factor theorem is just to find a factor. So if you can find a factor using factor theorem, then the degree is reduced. And then you proceed again using the factor theorem again or grouping or some other methods. So there is no definite method if, if the degree is higher than a quadratic. Okay. So this is just to explain what it means by zeros of polynomials. That's all for this lesson. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.